Hey, y'all, what's going on, everybody? I want to do some appetizers with y'all today. These appetizers are going to be portobello mushrooms. Now, these portobello mushrooms are going to be stuffed with spinach and artichoke dip. Yes, indeed. And we're also going to do some King Hawaiian sweet rolls, and we're going to stuff that with some spinach and artichoke dip, too. Indeed, yes, we are. Now, have you ever tried such concoctions before? Well, let's go through them, all right? So what we did was use a half a can of these artichoke hearts. Now, you can use the whole can if you like artichokes, but we needed a half a can for the amount that we wanted to do. We used a quarter cup of heavy cream, too, in the process. And I would say we used a just under a quarter cup of sour cream too now my wife really wanted this dish so i was like okay baby let's go ahead and get this appetizer rolling for you so we had some green onions from the garden lovely garden we got going on now i had some garlic but i say I had this jar so i'm using the jar of minced garlic and you see the spices and seasons that we're going to be using here in this process onion powder garlic powder as well we had to have some paprika in there too now paprika is essentially dry red bell pepper now we have this tony tony saturis original creole season and we love that where we located down here in the south okay now so what we doing now we got all of that going into this pot now before we put that in there what i forgot to show y'all was some uh yellow onions now i had some yellow onions and we got those yellow onions diced up throw those in there so now my wife and i are in the kitchen together Enjoying the day, cooking it up. Now it's time to go ahead and get this cream cheese in here. Now the cream cheese, you want to do this in two different phases, all right? Now I used half of the block of cream cheese and went on through that in there too. So we mixing this up. My wife got this going on on the, on the stove right here because she wanted to do this together. She didn't want me just to do my recipe. She wanted to do it with me so she can know how to do it. All right, so we have half a bag right here of that spinach. We're going to throw that half a bag of spinach in there, but it's not in there quite yet now. So be on the lookout for when we, when we put the half a bag of spinach in there, okay? So take your time. Now, the heat level on this eye started off on high because I had some butter in the pan or butter in the sauce pot, and we threw the onions in there. So we let the onions saute up a little bit. And once the onions became translucent, and then we put that heavy cream in there. And we let it boil just a touch. Then we cut the heavy cream down to, once it began to boil, we cut the heavy cream down to about, I would say, medium to low, medium level heat. So medium to a low medium level heat. So it had a simmer on it still. OK, so like I said, you have to take your time through this process. Don't rush it and keep on stirring. You can use a whisk. You can use your spatula. You can use a spoon. Use whatever you have at home to use. All right. Now you see what we just poured something in there. What we just poured in there was the artichoke brine from the can. Now, why would I want to waste that artichoke brine that is in that can when that artichoke brine has flavor? Nice amount of flavor inside of it. So, waste not, want not, okay? So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and add the spinach in. And why are we adding the spinach in now? Because it got to a certain consistency in which I desired. Because this dish is going to get baked, okay? At the end of the day. Now, make sure you scrape the sides. Don't let all that cream stick to it. Get all that cream off the sides. Now let's run down the cheeses, okay? You see mozzarella provolone combo, mozzarella by itself, and Parmesan cheese. Now, I use these cheeses because I needed to get rid of these cheeses, okay? They still were good, but I needed to get rid of them, okay? So we used it. Again, waste not, want not. Find out what you have around your house, that you know you cannot afford to waste and use it 
Utilize it. Find a recipe for it. Incorporate it inside of something. You you can do it. Okay? And now we all make a mess when we cook. We all make a mess, but clean. Okay? Clean as you cook. It will make it much easier for you if you clean as you cook. So you see now we're at the consistency where it's about time to say, oh, yeah, we there. We there. We, we, we are where we need to be. Oh, yeah. That's thick. We're sitting pretty. Now, what am I showing you? These are some baby Bella mushrooms. We got portobello, but I'm going to show you these baby Bellas. You see? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, what are we doing? We are removing the gills from inside of the baby Bella mushroom. You see that? See that? That is, that's the gills. That's all that brown stuff on the inside of the mushrooms. You want to get that out. It has a bitter taste to it. So if you are eating baby Bella mushrooms, portobello mushrooms, you want to remove the gills from them. And you can use the handle of a spoon, a fork. You can use a butter knife, but I, I would use a spoon. I would use the handle of a fork. And you saw I flashed the coconut oil. You can use vegetable oil, any type of oil. But again, I had this product in my house and I need to get rid of it. Waste not, want not. So now we're seasoning it up. We threw some parsley in there real quick. Basil from my garden. Yeah, we got a garden. I love it. We got the basil out the garden. Goes phenomenal with it. We threw some Tonys in there too. My wife is working it. She's working it, working it, working it. You know, I'm right there. I'm working on a different project. And, and I'll be posting that later on. Okay? But these appetizers went with what I was working on. So, but she really wanted this spinach and artichoke dip. She really wanted some stuffed mushrooms. And why not put them both together? Right? Why not put the stuffed mushrooms and that spinach and artichoke dip and make that the dish. Why not stuff the mushrooms with the spinach and artichoke dip? That's what you want to be able to do. You want to be able to use whatever creativity you have. Now, what are we doing here? What, what are we doing? We're aligning this on the sheet tray pretty much how we want to plate it. So we're going through the plating process as we're putting it on the sheet tray. All right. My wife wanted to use uh, something else right here as a stem. As you can see, it's in a triangle, but it's really like a tree because we're doing this right here. It's Christmas dinner, part of it, the app of it. So why not? So it's like the shape of a tree. That's what the play of it was. OK, you can shape this any which way you want to shape it, however you want to shape it. And as well, we cooked our uh, stuffed king hawaiian rolls with the spinach and artichoke dip on the same tray as these stuffed baby bella and portobello mushrooms now see this was part of the strategy because we understand that the mushrooms form a natural jus which we love so we took those king hawaiian rolls like i said and put them on the same tray knowing that the jus would seep into those King Hawaiian rolls. Ooh, and tastes so wonderful. But the catch is, you have to catch it halfway during the cooking process. Pull those rolls out, put them in a separate dish, and then finish cooking the rolls and your mushrooms. And man, what will happen is that the rolls, they will form a little bit of a crust on the outside, but they will, will retain that jus from those mushrooms. And man, ooh wee they good. It's real good that way. So that's the process. And as you see right here, we're wrapping it up. We're getting towards the end. Look at how these dishes are starting to turn out. And this is what you really want. You want your appetizers to be a hit. You want them to seem like as if they're very complicated, but they truly are not. This one is for everyone to enjoy. Think on this spinach and artichoke dip they'll love you for it and now if you know they love mushrooms and you take that spinach and artichoke dip and combine it together get you some king hawaiian rolls and combine that together they will love you this is a dish you could serve at a catering event you could serve this you can serve this at a wedding you can serve these dishes 
as nice canapes because they don't have to be this size. They can be smaller. Keep this in mind. They can be smaller. So this is all about using the creative capacity that you have. And thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Be sure to subscribe and drop me a comment.